Welcome back around, everybody. Here we are for our next episode, and if you guys remember off of last time, all 100 of you that freaking watch, then uh, Gaw is looking for our shiny treasure in this little tiny cave. The hell was this cave called? I forget what this cave was called. But we're looking for it, so let's look around. We've got a couple of scenes where Gaw is searching. Tonic. Sweet! <laughs> this... Is Gauze treasure? Hey, it's a shiny tonic, dude. <laughs> no, that was not his shiny treasure, but we did in fact find a tonic. And if you go up here, you'll get a funny scene, and you'll lose, well, sort of funny, and you'll lose 500 gold. But I have to show all the scenes, so I'll lose the 500 gold for it. As Gaw keeps looking around. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, he's tricking you. He's sneaking up behind you. <laughs> and that slight falling noise was his wallet. So yeah, we just lost 500 bucks, and he thinks it's funny. Let me handle this. Uh, see, he's pissed off, and he should be pissed off. Gaw thinks it's funny, because Gaw doesn't understand money. But if you just tell Gaw that that 500 GP would have bought him three dried meat, he would not have done that. Oh! There we go. We got a diver's helmet, it looks like. Looks like something out of Bioshock for the big daddies. Treasure, yes. Okay, Gollum. Thanks for finding us this treasure. Is this of any use? Will this really let us breathe underwater? Yes, one helmet will make all three of you into a big daddy. And then something... <laughs> no kidding. Something about Sabin. He just likes to hop in to rivers and stuff like that and get drowned through waterfalls. Whatever. And Gauze scared. Aww. You can handle the jungle, but you can't handle the river. Let's go! Welcome to the river where we got fun and games. <laughs> we got everything you want. And Gauze scared. Gaw, you're lagging behind. Let's go, Gaw. Alright, there's some treasure in here if you go the right direction. Um, you don't have any control over how you're moving aside from when it tells you to pick left and right. And I believe you want to go right both times. I could be wrong. So we shall find out. Left, right, left. Make it happen. Making it happen. This part's kind of cool, because it's obviously a very unique uh, background and scenery. It's got its unique music track, so that's cool. It makes it difficult in the fact that because we have no control, we can't just go to the menu screen. So if these guys start casting their powerful magic spells on you, which they can, uh, you can lose a character or two. I've never game over here, but I've certainly lost characters in these parts. However... If you take the correct path, which I think I just did... Whoa! Pincer attack! I'm getting beat up left and right. Sorry, excuse me. If you take the correct path, um, and we do get to find the treasure chests, obviously we, we can heal there, because we'll have control, we'll be in a little cave, and, you know, whatever. Uh, whoops. <laughs> so you know how in fighting games, like Savin's supposed to be reminiscent of, the controls for your moves, they're not necessarily like left, down, whatever. It's usually forward, as in towards the enemy. Yeah, so Sabin was facing the other direction and I did right, left, right. <laughs> whoops. Whatever. X-Potion! So we can heal now if we want, but I don't care. Um, who's got... You've got the Tintinna bar. But that's fine. That's all we get right there. Really? I thought I was... Hmm. Let's go right again. Get into another random battle. I thought I was supposed to get more, but I guess that's later. Boom! 
I love it when a blitz comes together. Much better than failing, that's for sure. Thunk. All right, I got got it correct both times. Right and then right. Now I just gotta make sure I find all the loot. There's only one piece of loot I'm actually caring about. Um, and it's still not even really that major of a deal, but... Is this it? I think this is it. There's that. I swear to God, there was supposed to be one more something. That's weird. I thought there was three treasures. Uh, obviously I, w I made it to both caves, so I don't know, I must have just, must have been hiding somewhere. But the green beret is the one I, I wanted, so whatever. Alright, now we have followed through the serpent trench, and Sabin is yet again washed up ashore somewhere. And let's check out where the hell we are. The town of Nikea. Just get her done. And I'm gonna look for loot for a second. Talk to these hot chicks. Doma fell to the empire. Yeah, I'm aware. Move along. Yeah. Whoa! Woman, you're not in the kitchen. You're in the way. Unless they have a ship. Uh, we got here without a ship. It's called jumping into the freaking river. You ever heard of it? Um, I guess I'll buy a claw. The claw! God, there's like... I just have like six movie references already this episode. I'm rolling in the references. Uh, let's see. Heavy shields, plumed hats, Magus hat. I think I should get one, but whatever. Bandana. I don't want to buy all this crap right now. I'm too... I don't want to buy crap. It takes too much time. Uh, what about you, kid? <laughs> As I go from one merchant to another, talking about how I don't want to buy crap. What is fairy ring? Poison and dark. So really the exact same as Star Pendant. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I totally almost accidentally bought a white cape. Oh, no, never mind. Really? I, don't, I can't afford a white cape? Whatever. Have any imported goods? You're supposed to buy local, bro. God, support the economy. Vote Democrat. <coughs> Sorry. Lives near the Let River? His wife bore him a son 13 years ago. It was a problem birth, and the woman passed away. The man totally lost it. Thought the newborn was a monster. I wonder what happened to the poor little boy. What happened to the poor little boy? He's right there! Ah! Monster child! He was apparently only 13 years old. I don't understand what's with the JRPGs and... <laughs> How about joining me, Teehee? Oh, she's flirting with Cyan. She likes older men. How dare you! You the sentiest howler! Wow. Check out the vocabulary on this dude. Don't you blow an artery, baby. <laughs> baby! See, not just the fact that he's unaccustomed to being hit on by some young, hot-looking chicks. He obviously just lost his uh, wife and child, so kind of makes a kind of makes a difference. See, Sir Edgar would be like, "Well, hello there." No one thinks you are. Just let it go. <laughs> Stop whispering, my ears are burning, baby. Have you no shame? I'll have you know. <laughs> now he's teaching her a lesson, that's right. In manners and etiquette and the Lord knows what else. There used to be ships. Tizen, Albrook, and Miranda. They've all been smashed. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Alright, what else have I? I don't want to go to the items. I don't think I need an inn. A rock slide has blocked the path leading north. Which means that we can't go north. Let's get the hell out of town, though. Where are we on the map? We are over here. And... I want to see this rock slide, now that I've read about it. See, this is where I would start using speed up, but people mentioned that the audio is getting desynced a few times, and it seems to happen after speed up. So... I don't think I can use speed up for the rest of the LP if it's causing... It's causing desynchronization.
Oh, I guess there's not actually like I figured it would lead us to like an area where we could just Oh, the path is blocked, but no. There's just a gigantic freaking mountain range blocking the path. That kind of means there is no path. There is no spoon. I thought there was more treasure. I guess not. Whatever, we'll come back here later eventually and I'll look for treasure then. I'm, I'm, oh, here we go, here's a clock. There we go. I knew there was something. I didn't know what, I didn't know where, but I knew there was something. When in doubt, check the clock. And all right, so that's everything we got down here. I don't know why I have go on the front, but I do. Get out of my way. Alrighty then. Grab the treasure, saw a scene. Where am I going? I have no idea. South Figaro bound ferry. I don't need to shop. Let's hop aboard. Dun 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 dun. This is probably like, oh, never mind. What, what's going on? Oh, scenes. Narsh is just a stone's throw away. Damn, you got a hell of an arm, dude. I hope the others arrive safely. I'm sure they did. Me hope so, too. See, I feel like if it was quote-unquote real throughout the course of this time elapsing and so, like, ex or exploring as a group, sci or science, Sabin would be filling people in on, like, why he needs to go to Narsh and things like that and all that jazz. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to save it over here, I guess. And I'm going to pick... Terra's group next. I'll save Locke for last. Fleeing the Empire's troops, Bannon, Edgar, and Terra ride the rapids toward Narsh. But the going won't be easy. Picking this one because I feel like it's really short. I mean, both of the next two are really short, but Locke's is a little bit longer, I think. And a little bit more fun. Um, so I think I can actually finish this one in this episode, which would be swell. I don't want to have 35 minute episodes the whole time. I would like to leave it at 20, 25, but we shall see. Wow, these dudes aren't dead yet. Why are you no dead yet? I would like to hit the speed up button and I can't. <laughs> Edgar levels up. More monies. I don't know why Bannon is suddenly not at the bottom and why Terra is suddenly at the top, but that's the way it is. And wow. That was it. That was even shorter than I thought. Hey lady, didn't you just bust in here wearing Magitek armor? Wait a sec. Get out of here, if you don't. Whoa, hitting the old dudes. Hold on, I'm King Edgar of Figaro. Liar! Oh boy. See, if someone walked up to me wearing clothes like he is, and said he's the King of Figaro, I don't think my first reaction would be punch him in the face. But anyway, ay 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 kind of attitude is deadly. He won't even listen. It's all my fault. That's right, it's all your fault. These dudes want you back in the kitchen. God, I'm on a roll today. And I'm about to sneeze again. Ugh, nope. <coughs> there we go. Alright. Got a free heal. And we're supposed to go to Narsh, right? But we can't go up that way? If you remember, Locke told us to remember. When he first helped me, he fiddled with something right around here. There's a joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Knowing him, there's probably a secret switch in this rock wall. Sure, why not? Punch the rock, open the door. Seems okay. And get into random fights against really, really weak enemies. Edgar's gonna, or not Edgar, Bannon's gonna fight him. Make it happen, Bannon. Oh yeah, look at that, he got one. 
He got one. No, 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 no. Screensaver. I don't even have a screensaver. I don't understand why this happens. <sighs> yeah, and somebody else said that once the screensaver went on, it started to desync. I don't even have a screensaver. It's been 15 minutes. <sighs> I don't know what to do about that, man. I don't understand why my monitor just shuts off after 15 minutes. I don't even know where the hell I'm going right now. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no I'm not. Going the right way. Alright, follow this thing. I think I got it. Goodness, what's that? I think this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us. I'm okay, whatever. And then I think I go up, and then down, and then down, and then I should be good to go. BOOM! Get that memory, yo. Well, I guess since the screensaver went on, which I don't even have a screensaver, so I have no idea why that's happening. Um, I think we might actually just have a really short episode this time. Hold on, where do I want to... Oh, that's right. I need to go this way, I think. Maybe? Maybe not? Here we go, let's check out these Moogles. Cupo! 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 This one's not moving. Cupo. Po! Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Cupo! 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 They all just say Cupo. But whatever. The Mo Moogle music is awesome. And we get a Rune Edge, which is a pretty bad sword in my opinion. Um... It raises Evade, which is a broken stat. It's glitched and doesn't work, so that doesn't help. But, uh, it's a range this year. Rune Edge. Consumes MP to inflict Mortal Blow. Which means, if Terra has it equipped, because Terra has magic points, and she swings, which she does a lot, it takes up some of her magic points to deal a little bit of extra damage, and I just don't think that that's an effective trade-off under any circumstance. So, whatever. Uh, okay. See now, if I didn't pick up those treasures in part one, they would be there and they would be something better. But I messed that up, so thank you to the guy who commented that in part one. Oh my goodness! These enemies are so bad. The encounter rate in this place should just be crappier instead. Or they should give us new enemies at least. At least something stronger than 16 points and 50 gold. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Japanese games, why you do this? <laughs> I want to speed up button and I can't. Almost there. There we go. All right. What's going on, dude? Bannon, Edgar, and Tara. Arvis, what's happening here in Narsh? The town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but... Anyway, why on earth have you come here? First, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper was discovered. We believe this young woman is our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Terra can help restore some order to our town? 
I'm not even. I need to at least give these people different voices or something. I'm just reading Xerxes' voice. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. That's right. And that concludes their part, which gives us one scenario left. And we will do that one next time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later. And peace.